Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Web Lemon, and today we're back to playing the Ponya, the complete journey. And last time, we what mostly just messed around. We ended up uh, getting whatever we needed from the gadget shop. We managed to not only enter the submarine, or the you should probably say. It's more accurate to say it's the unorganized crime base. And we not only got in, but Wink is apparently working for, um, oh, what's that jerk's name? Oh, Cletus. And not only that, somehow we managed to join the crime base, like unorganized crime, and got tournament hands. Yeah, it was just... A very weird episode overall. But anyways, with that being said, let's get right into it. If I remember correctly, the plan was to talk to Goff. Because we still got to May uh, I bother him. you again? And you're gonna do that anyway. <laughs> got a point there. I also like the voice actor that plays Garth? I want to play. Yeah, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Yeah, those are actually real tournament fingers. And they're not loaded. So, let's get started. Wait, what? That was a whole sentence that didn't play. Interesting. So, how exactly does this work? The rules are quite complex, I must admit. But you really only need to remember three things. Scissors beats paper. Paper beats rock. And rock beats scissors. We only play with real tournament fingers. Any attempt to play with loaded fingers automatically counts as a lost round. Ha! <laughs> Got it. What's the stake, anyway? The winner gets to pick two fingers from the loser's hand. What? We play for fingers. What else? First person who has no fingers left to surrender after a lost round loses the game. Hmm. Okay. I'm ready. Well then, lift your hand. One, two, three. What? The actual fuck? Okay, wait. Yeah, simple enough. Sucks that Rufus can't control the other f hand. He has little choice. The shown symbol uh, only depends on the number of fingers. An attacked hand only has uh, shows paper with two fingers remaining. Only shows scissors. Hand has no fingers left. Always considered stone. But Rufus has the last finger. Owns them. Symbol he wants. Okay. No, oh, that should be enough. What did that do? I'm so confused. Oh god, what did I do? Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round. So you need to surrender two fingers. What? So what did you think this was about? Get on with it. Put your hand on the table. You didn't stand a chance. I told you so. Wanna play a game? What the fuck did I do? Ah, fuck it. Oh well. Wait, what is this? Those are loaded. Any attempt to cheat counts as a lost round. So you need to surrender two fingers. Okay. What the? You win. Even though these are my lucky fingers. Oh well, it ain't over as long as I have some fingers left. There, you won't pull that one again. You ready for the showdown? What? What's going on? Wait, does he only pick scissors? What's that? Rock, you're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. Wait, I'm so confused. How does this work? 
So I can add and take away fingers here, right? But if he only picks fucking scissors, what's the point? I might as well just keep picking rock until he has nothing and then pick paper. Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna do that. What's that? Rock? You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. This guy sucks. What's that? Rock? You're trying to be clever now. Just you wait. Honestly, I thought I would lose if I pressed this twice. Wait, did I just win? Oh! Oh, that's such a gross sound. Why would they do that? Oh! Impossible. You... you... beat me! Haha! <laughs> Don't mess with Rufus! That's what I keep saying! Oh yeah! <laughs> Looks like I underestimated you. Well, be that as it may, I'm an honest player. And I keep my word. This is our secret knock. Can you remember that? Yeah, I'm not so sure. Can I hear it again? Uh, but you mustn't tell anybody else. <laughs> Nobody but gold. What was that? I need some alcohol now. Ah, me too. Okay, cool. And talk to goal, I guess. Join the resistance. Good to go. Oh, it's you! How nice! You know, I will admit, I do like how kind Baby Goal is. It is done. We are resistance fighters. Really? Sure. I even know the secret knock. What are we waiting for? We have to go to Janosch and get our instructions. Last one, there's a rotten egg. She is an idiot, though. But no, no, hey, hey, stop! Oh, rats. Honestly, hmm, <clears throat> which goal do I like most? Also, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, to be honest. But, um... Du, du, da, du, 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 da. Yeah, if I'm thinking about it, I don't know which goal I like the most. Because there's... Spunky Goal, whose personality I think I like the most. But... I don't think I like Lady Goal much. If she was less... mean, I think I'd actually like her the most. Um... But I think, I think if I have to order it, I like the personality of Spunky Girl, and she is actually nice. And then Baby Girl, just because she's nice. It's just, the intelligence part turns me off. And then Lady Girl, she seems intelligent, and I like the high class aspect of it. As, it's really nice to actually convene with people that are similar to me but like god is she an asshole and I hate that du, du, da, du, 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 da. no wait that isn't the secret knock uh, I know I just got it a little mixed up the knock goes du, du, da, du, 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 da. wrong again beat it Crap. It's just because of that snappy groove they play in the marketplace. Oh, uh, we have to get rid of that? How? You who? What? Where? I would like to buy something. That's good. That's very good. What will it be? Another cucumber, please. Sorry, no can do. For one thing, they are no longer grown because of certain... incidents. Partial paralysis, skin irritations, spontaneous gene mutations. Also, it's strictly one to a customer. Dang, it was really good, you know. 
Ah, uh, nothing I need right now. You get what you deserve. See you later. Not if I see you first. Hmm. Music. How do we deal with the music? Bellevue. Where would it... Where would it be coming from? First off... Okay, so the bird didn't work at all. Shame. There's nothing here. Oh, this is going to be so annoying, isn't it? Question is... Maybe the industrial park? Maybe talk to Doc, see if he knows anything? Because I remember someone complained about the music, but I don't remember who. Hello again! Ah! Rufus, how are you getting on? Um... How does switching the cartridge work again? Use the remote when you're close to her. That way you can briefly detach her mind from her body. Depending on which cartridge is currently in the remote, a new mind will then be loaded to the cartridge in her implant. And the mind that was in her brain prior to that will be buffered in the ether and then save to the cartridge in the remote. Cool! Pew pew! Um, okay. Usually at this point, people ask me whether it isn't dangerous. So the others are all wimps, unlike me. I'm just saying, the risk of lasting brain damage and all that. Quite the opposite. I'm way cool. Super cool Sheriff Rufus with his deadly remote of permanent brain damage. Uh, oh, oh. I'll be off then. Quite. Wait, is there anything we can do? Because I'm pretty sure we've done pretty much everything. Have we not? Do, do, that. Okay, give me one sec. I have... I have an idea. Hear me out. I don't know if it's one of those games that do this, but... Um... Should be music, right? No fucking way. Ah, Scarlet. Did you get us that new recruit? Uh, sure. Finally, a new face after all these years. Yanush is gonna flip out. And a woman, too. Nobody's gonna laugh at us now. Just let me in, okay? Hmm, that could be right. <laughs> finally. But I'm not sure. I can never remember the new knock. Could you knock the old one again, just to be sure? But that's pure harassment. If you're one of us, then you ought to know it. And this had better not be a knock-knock joke. Hmm. Huh. With my superb memory, I actually ought to remember how it goes. He did knock it once before. All right. What about it? No, wait. Wrong again. Too bad. Better luck next time. Ow! I can't believe this! And this is better not be a knock-knock joke. Oh, God. Don't make me come out there. That must be the rebel base Garliff was talking about. Now, can we briefly consider the problem at hand? I have to find goal. Do I have to turn now, the music? can we briefly... I have... Wait, do we have to put the music back on? <laughs> or hmm, that 
Could you have this as best? What about it? <laughs> oh, there's a timer. Hey, that's enough. I'm coming out now. I don't see the humor in not not jokes. Huh? There's nobody here. So it wasn't a not not joke after all. That isn't the new knock, Lebo. Yeah, I forgot it again. Can't I just use the old one? Oh, yes, okay. But only because it's you. Now I've got it. Hey, there we go. Okay. I kind of wish I could turn the music back on, though. Hey, that was right. Of course it was. Well, then, what are you waiting for? Come on in. The door's open. The door is what? Yes. Hold on. Settings. That's too loud. That's... Fuck this game. That's annoying. I hate games that do that kind of shit. Just... Give me ah, in-game puzzle. Another new recruit to at last. Our course is getting the attention it deserves and a smattering of respect. Say what? What are you getting at? Attention. And? A smattering of respect. <laughs> hmm, just listen to you kikul. <laughs> stop it. No, wait. Don't stop. How can I start if you never tell me what it is that defines you exceedingly humorous? <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> awesome! But... <laughs> Seriously, what place is this? Some kind of circus? Because, you know, I'm really looking for the hideout of the Resistance, not a carnival. You have come to the right place. True. Carnival was last week. Is he supposed to be... A figure of Robin Hood, or...? That's supposed to be a plan? <laughs> All I can do is laugh in disdain. They haven't even drawn in a giant eagle to rescue them from an exploding high-rise at the last second! What is the plan? <laughs> I've had toothbrushes that resisted the Organon better. Why didn't you ever use them? Uh, that's a good point. The stage is set, the show can begin. Slide projector? Do we have anything for that? I would assume this. Oh, no, 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 the slides. Hold on, I want to talk to people first. And you seriously want to go up against the Organon? We still haven't decided who goes up when it's time. We wanted to draw straws, but Leibold started crying. Hey, not in fear. I had a splinter in my hand. Have you planned any action for the future? Friday is karaoke night. Uh, actually, I was thinking about an operation that has something to do with the Organon. For example, an assassination attempt on Bailiff Argus. Just last week, Janusz distributed uh, inflammatory pamphlets. Ugh, lame. But at least it's a start. Yeah. Unfortunately, he only made one copy, and I had to read over Garleth's shoulder. Oh my god. Is this the worst resistance group ever? Greetings, retreat. Watch up. <laughs> the word is greetings with an S. That's what I said. Greetings. Vision ish. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a German accent, or... I don't know. <laughs> I will admit, I do like it, though. You call yourselves a resistance, Sal? You look like a bunch of total losers to me. That may be your first impression, but the truth is, we're a fanchishing bench. That is! What's a new friend like a glass of orange juice? No thanks, Mom! Get over again. Huh, 
You guys being venturesome? Well, at least we have a concept. So, what's your concept? We're sitting here discussing, snacking on ships, and questioning about the unfairness of being oppressed by the Organon. <laughs> and what exactly are you hoping to move that way? Move? Who said anything about moving? Well, isn't that sort of implied by the term underground movement? Oh, that, yes. Well, of course we are moving, as well. <laughs> I wasn't talking about circling the sun and drifting away from the other tectonic plates. Oh, mm. uh. Your concept is crap. For crying out loud, you can't even pronounce the word concept properly. If you have a better concept, then let us know. I have come to pick up Goal. Impossible. She must assist me with essential tactics. <laughs> she must what? Assist? Shay, are you shitting on your ears? <laughs> Goal is in urgent need of surgery. In the resistance, one has to make sacrifices. What if she suffers permanent brain damage? Then she will have suffered brain damage for she good coach. I've got... A concept. A what? A concept. As in plan. Ah, a concept. For a second, I thought you said concept. But if you mean a concept, I'm very interested. Just uh... insert a slidish into the projector. Okay. Don't tell me those are cardboard swords. What else? We are pacifists. Gesundheit. I've got to go. Your facilities are upstairs by the front door. Viva la revolution! Viva a la revolution. Oh, hello Rufus. Have you joined the resistance too? That's me. Always in the wrong place at the right time. <laughs> Let's go. Nothing's happening here anyway. But Janos said I need to stay here and fight for our grand cause. He's the leader after all, right? Janosch is an idiot. True. Janosch says one must be an idiot to go up against the Organon. In that case, he's probably overqualified. <sighs> oh my god. I I will say, like, two things. One, Rufus actually has a better plan and strategy than these idiots, which scares me. And second... I honestly think he'd make a better leader, and that is even more terrifying. I would be a much better leader than Janosch. But Janosch has the master concept. Bah! Janosch doesn't even know how to pronounce concept. That's just because of his damaged tongue. He says it's an old injury that never healed properly. Did he eat too many chili dogs? Twenty-five chili dogs in ten minutes. Wow. See? He's as tough as they come. 25 chili dogs in 10 minutes. That is kind of impressive, I suppose. But super bad for your health. What do I have to do to make you come along? I'm so sorry, Rufus. But as long as Janosch is in charge here, I simply can't leave. How can he be in charge? You can barely understand a word he says. True genius can never really be understood. Oh. <sighs> but your health is at stake. We need to repair your implant. Janosch says that when you fight for a good cause, you must be prepared to make sacrifices. Really? And what is he sacrificing? He's our leader. I'm sure he would lay down his life for every last one of us. Really? For me too? Can he please do that right away then? That would be great. Yes, Janusz is truly great. Don't uh. go away. I'll be right back. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm safe here with Janusz. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's fuck with his projector. Hey! What is that all about? I'm taking matters into my own hands now. You want to stop the Organon? I'm all for it. But you're going to need the right leader. Someone who's got courage and charisma. Check, check. With clear elocution. Check. In short, someone who can go up against the Organon all by himself if need be. 
Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station is charismatic enough. I was talking about myself, you dodos. Don't make me laugh. What could possibly qualify you for that kind of responsibility? What do you think? I've got a concept. Yes, oh yes, a slideshow. I bet this is going to be so exciting. Watch and learn. Oh, what is that? A spot? Impossible to recognize anything. Uh, a symbol. A symbol? A shimbo? How mysterious. The concept sounds pretty exciting <gasps> already. Positively mystic, with just a hint of legend. Shut up, Lebo. And what does it symbolize? It shows what will become of us if we don't act right away. Wow, this is shocking. You're a pretty glib talker. But do you have any proof for your claim? I most certainly do. They're all idiots. Here. What's that? Um, Blast Tower, wasn't it? This is an Organon Blast Tower. The Dark Exchequer has distributed these towers around the planet. I find that disturbing. I'm scared. We don't quite understand. Why would the Organon build towers like that? What's the purpose of those bases? Smash the globe, destroy the world, eradicate the Ponia. Our enemy will try to make the planet explode. What? But are you really sure? Of course. It's true. The order comes from the Elysian Council of Elders. They have no idea that Deponia is inhabited. Inconceivable. But what are we going to do about it? Mm. Offensive. Our team needs to do to attack. Our troops need to strike first. These are basically all the same, but I like this. It the resistance good. has to start an offensive. Attack the Organon. Are you out of your mind? We don't even know where to strike. Yes, we do. Oh. One of these towers. I got coordinates on one of the Organon's bases. Topographical data. One particular Organon fort. I mean, that one? Okay, this one sounds best, technically, but they're all idiots. So, this one? I am in possession of secret knowledge about the exact position of one of these towers. Wow. He seems to be really well prepared. I thought there were hundreds of blast towers. Why should we tackle this particular one? Our enemy might... Drop a bomb here, and thus killing everyone. One that lives in the water, detonate a bomb and all life, marine on land, blow up, destroy the environment around and in and around the ocean. Thus make the area around the West Sea inhabitable. Explode a bomb here and thus make the area around the Rust Red Sea uninhabitable. That's horrible. Rufus is right. We must prevent it at all costs. But what comes next? What about all the other blast towers? Um, the ascension codes might be one joker we haven't played yet. Stored in data's cartridges might serve an ace up our sleeve. Might be an important trope in our hand. Secret knowledge in Gold's mind might be a... There we go. The stored data in Gold's cartridge might serve as an ace up our sleeve. So far, I understand it all. Can you give us a brief summary? I will do that. Uh, no, no, you don't have to do that, Janosch. I, I, I can do it myself. No, no, I will summarize this. Uh-oh. All right, whatever happens, don't laugh, Rufus. Show the first slide again, will you? Exactly. W what was that exactly? An Organon Blast Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my belly hurts! <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk! Uh, 
just when it was getting really exciting. I am disgusted. Get lost, you scoundrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I blew it. <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, maybe I. Wait, what? How do I not laugh? Wait, I'm so confused. What do I do? Huh? Where did my golden dragon of invisibility go? I must have lost it somewhere. Oh, yeah. We dropped that. Okay, wait. Let's try this again. Hey! I thought we made ourselves clear. We've got no room here for loudmouths who make fun of Janosch. Oh, come on. Water under the bridge and all that. No hard feelings, okay? I mean, I bet Janosch doesn't carry a grudge. And I'm sure he'll give me another chance to present my concept. After all, it could instantly make your organization the spearhead of worldwide resistance. I thought we already were the spearhead. Spearhead. <laughs> Rufus, get your act together or you're out. Sorry, of course. I I I'm not laughing. I'm completely serious. If you say so. What is this Spotzen? Okay. Oh. A symbol. A shim. Pasha. And what does it this look like? Most... Wait, I can hit this. Okay, so the problem is how he words it, right? Maybe all of these are correct. An organ on bomb. Uh huh. Okay. Eradicate the plane. Our enemy. Yeah, okay. Um. Resistance to shot. That has to be this one. Our team will dare. But now with. Um. I don't know. I honestly don't. No, because I can't use S, right? Um, and TH I'm looking out for. Coordinates. That one sounds good, right? Data located in particular, I'm looking out for it. Last. About Blash, so no. Hand on the coordinates. I obtained top card called data location. On the, this I one. Obtained, I remember. Our enemy might. Okay, skip. Drop bomb here, dash. Zash, so no. Detonate a bomb here and put an end to our life, Marine and online. That sounds good, hey? Right? Blow, blow up a bomb here and josh no explode a bomb here and josh no detonate a bomb here and put an end okay g ascension g store data g here goal and her can you give us a brief i will do i no no i, I, I no no i will show uh, all right Show the first okay. slide again, will you? Exactly. What was that exactly? Did we do it? Organ on bombing fort. Our enemy will try to eradicate Deponia. Our team will dare to attack. So far, so good. And what is this? You obtain topographical data locating one particular organ on fort. Our enemy might detonate a bomb here and put an end to all life, marine and on land. Almost done. Goal and her brain implant might mean an important trump in our hand. You've understood everything. Yes! Bravo. That's all very well. But how does it help us? An Elysian inspector named Cletus is currently here on Deponia. Goal accompanied him. 
That's why she's here in the first place. Her codes serve to activate the last high boat in Port of Fisco that is supposed to take her back to Elysium. We have to let Elysium know that Deponia is actually inhabited. Therefore, I will take Goal to Elysium. But of course, you could try to sway the Council of Elders. Once they learn that Deponia is inhabited, they'll cancel the blast. But why should you of all people go to Elysium? Because I'm the spitting image of the Inspector. <laughs> That's highly unlikely. But it's true! Rufus and Cletus could be twins! What a strange coincidence. And it gets even better. Argus's cruiser has docked at the blast tower I indicated. Its mission is to take Cletus and Goal to the high boat in Porta Fisco. During the attack, Goal and I can make use of the ensuing chaos to overwhelm Cletus. And then I will take his place. What do you say? Are you with me? That sounds very risky. But it's our only chance. Any more questions? Wow. That was pretty <laughs> good. Hmm. Yeah. Long live Rufus, our spearhead! Hey! That was so cool! You made Janos look like a little idiot! <laughs> well, how else would he look compared to somebody my size? Now all I have to do is persuade your last alter ego. To tell you the truth, I liked you right from the start. You were a lot like Cletus, but you lack his moody, spiteful side. That's true. Just thinking of that idiot really gets my dander up. And you're so clueless and bumbling, which makes you very attractive to women. Thanks. <laughs> I think. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? Huh. They all say about the same thing. Like... So far, they all call me a bumbling idiot, which is attractive. Or I should say Rufus, which is attractive to women. That's weird. But they all liked him from the start. And then they all have their own complaints about Cletus. I miss Funky Girl. I really do. What just happened? Oh, I must have been unconscious. Oh, no wonder with the air in here. Forget about it. Once the fungal spores have settled into your lungs, you can breathe normally again. Huh? Oh, God. Did we do everything? Oh, no. We still need to... Oh. Actually, hold on. Let's just take it to dinner now. I want to see what happens. Mm -hmm. Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never give up, do you? Realizing that is part of knowing me. Just like living in constant fear of grievous bodily harm. <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Could I interest you in a romantic dinner? A dinner invitation? Really? Huh. Maybe there is a spark of gallantry left under that filthy coat of yours. Dinner first. You can go looking for my gallantry later. Which restaurants do you have in mind? And is it clean? It's an excellent establishment. Reputable location, fantastic view, and the cuisine is exquisite. Exquisite cuisine? What are they serving? Mud roast? No, they mainly serve platypus. Platypus? Yeah, platypus. Oh, it sounded too good to be true. Why? What's, what's wrong with platypus? Just forget it. For a brief moment there, I actually thought you had some culture. Wait here, I'll be right back. Is that a promise? Of course. Good. That increases the chances that you'll stay away. <laughs> what a woman. You're an idiot, Rufus. Okay, so... We only have the one, right? Because we hatched the water. We hatched the fire. This is the earth, I think? No, no, that, this is the, this is the water. Um, the earth is done. 
<sighs> I'm sure that can be used a second time. But how? It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? Mm, no, actually. Yes, of course. <laughs> that looks just like the landing net from the picture in the field guide. Wait, really? It's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. That kind of feels like an insult, but okay. Here, platy platy. Ha! Got it! Now, where's the nest? Was it up here? No. Oh, right! It was over here by the, um, thing. Honestly, this one's kind of cute. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. There's a nest to guard. <laughs> kind of cute. Yeah, flying platypus is off the menu for now. Oh, Welcome cool. again. They have little wing flaps. Oh, okay. If you didn't know this about flying creatures, um, they're actually quite interesting. Most creatures that we know of historically have actually evolved wing flaps, like naked ones, like bare skin. Because that's a lot easier than what birds did, which is a complex feather that helped them fly. Um, it's just so interesting that we think that's normal, when in fact, that's actually abnormal. It's kind of cool. <sighs> what else can you tell me about platypuses? Quite a lot, but that would take all day. And <laughs> nobody wants that. Just look it up in your field guide. Tell me more about these greeting cards. It's poetry. Platypus poetry. So, uh, when you've got time, I'd... I'd really like you to recite some of your poetry. Well, buckle up then. Here comes the classic now. <clears throat> I am here. There are you, platy Pooh. Wow. I suddenly feel so... Inspired? Elated? Moved? Sick. Grab a bus, platypus. Yes, I will, ducky bill. Okay, how about we go to the actual poet? Knock, knock. Hmm, you again. But you've got to admit that Captain Seagull has a cool lifestyle. Useless and materialistic. Mm -hmm. I don't need any of the stuff he needs. What was that again? You don't need any of the stuff that Captain Seagull needs? That's what I said. Huh. You're such a pathetic wretch. But I'm rich Ooh. in spirit. Isn't that the same? You know, that was pretty You're good. Such a but I'm Isn't that the same? See you later. Right, leave me alone. It has such a good Cletus impression. And if Cletus wasn't a fucking asshole, I would actually kind of like him. Because I like his voice more than I do Rufus's. I've got something for you. No thanks. I have everything I need. Okay, cool. Can we return the fuel guy? Keep it safe. Someday it might save your life. I hope it actually does, and that's a reference to an event that will happen. Sorry, not interested. Oh, wait a sec. I go here, right? Just a sec, how can I help? Uh, nothing. nothing for me right now. As you like. I tried my best, old nameless one. He just wouldn't stand on the trap door. Noctus forem pastifidor. Yes, I also think he'll be back. Great Wait. service. There's a trap door? I've got all the platypuses off the menu. Instead, they now have rat souffle. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep that to myself. Okay. Let's go talk to Gol.
So what, we're just gonna mm. la oh, lie? Oh, heavens, it's you again. You never realize. Just like Lily. <laughs> I insist on inviting you to dinner. This place is just not fit for a lady. We've been through this before, haven't we? Are you talking about that platypus restaurant again? No, 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 not in the least. No, uh -huh. platypus. You're quite sure. Oh, yes. They've got everything except for platypus. All right. Why not? At this point, everything sounds fine to me, just as long as it gets me out of this dive. Go ahead, then. Ask me out. Well, I'm waiting. But I. But I did just ask you out. That's what you think. But while well, I'm waiting. I hereby invite thee, Your Highness, Princess of the Peanut, in the most formal of forms, to dine with me this day. I actually like you. Too bad your father forgot to teach you some manners. Uh... You're hungry. I know a suitable restaurant. So what are you waiting for? For a formal invitation. Are you serious? You'd rather starve than accept an informal invitation? The correct form is very important. Oh my Rufus. god. It shows that you're making an effort and that the opinion of others matters to you. Uh, hey, hey, efforts are grossly overrated and others stink. I'm sorry, Rufus. I actually like you. Too bad your father forgot to teach you some manners. Okay. Wait here, I'll be right. Is that good? That increases. <laughs> so even Lady Gull likes us. I find that fascinating. Cause she seems like the Hey Dad. <sighs> what is it now? Can't you see your old man is busy? She seems like the type of person that would kinda hate us. I haven't told you the half of it. Oh my Rufus. What else have you gotten yourself into? I'll tell you some other time. Sounds good to me. In the meantime... I did it! The menu at Shea Schlumpy is platypus free. Took you long enough. Had to go looking for platypus eggs first, did you? Ha 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 ha. Yeah, the very thought is absolutely hilarious. So will you let me reserve a table now? No. No! No! There's more to a date than fine food. And a grand view. Uh. No, as in, no. Yes, you also need to impress the lady with your manners. This is an Elysian mm. we're talking about, right? I've got burns and blisters, two chillblains, and several platypus bites, and you say no? What about a poem? Uh -huh. Got burns and blisters. That's no lie. You still want more? Don't make me cry. That was Not pretty good. for me, for the lady. Nah, somehow I can't imagine that poem would please her. I can see it now. The sunset is magically reflected in the champagne. Oh, God. Making the sparkles light up her tresses of gold. Kill me. It's more like... Orangey? Schlumpy is serving dessert, and then I recite the poem. You mean I recite the poem? Y yes, of course. You. Well, are you well versed in the lyrical arts? Sure, well enough to tootle my own horn. No reason to worry. I happen to be a master poet. I just have to read through a few more volumes of poetry until I find the right verses. No, Dad, that'll take forever. Patience is the most prominent feature of a romantic, Rufus. No poem, no table. Got it? Mm -hmm. He better think again. I've been listening to that doddering old fool long enough. I'm going to solve this problem my own way. A la Rufus, with another truly brilliant move. I know which words I'll oh, use no. to impress Goal. Don't make a fool of yourself. Too late. A junk dealer. Here am I, there are you, Platypoo. Ugh. You'd better let Daddy do this. Really? Bad punzel, bad punzel, uh, ringle wrangle runzel. <clears throat> <sighs> Your hair is like flowers without the stalks. Uh, fallen angel, let's go for walks. <sighs> a junk dealer from Porto Fisco once met a nice girl in a disco. He said, you have class, but she said, I'll pass. She thought it 
too much of a risco. Uh, I bet I can do that's what it took and two years until you had paid off what you owed. Hold up. Whoa, I know whoa, whoa. too. I bet I can do this without your help. That's what you said back then when you were playing Blind Man's Bluff. It took you three days to find your way home. And two years until you had paid off what you owed me from the bet. Don't go away. I'll be back soon. Forget that line. Not even an eight-year-old would buy. Huh. Okay, now we talk to the Knock, poet? knock. Hmm. You again. You know quite a bit about poetry, don't you? I'd be a lousy poet if I didn't. Well, yeah. is that a yes or a no? Please don't tell me you need my help with a poem. I need your help with a poem. No. But it's for a lady. And, uh... Most importantly, it has to come from within you. Isn't it also important that it rhymes? You know, towards the end. Not necessarily. And the meter? What about that? No matter. As long as it comes from the heart. Just give it a try. Bad Punzel? Bad Punzel? Uh, Not bad at all. It's original, it's bold, and it's got this certain, uh, artistic opacity. Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But, th no! Go get her, Tiger. Huh. I have the feeling he was only trying to get rid of me. Not Again? Not hmm? You... I still need your help with that poem. No, you don't. There's a poet lurking in all of us. Just give it a try. Your hair is like flowers without this uh, fall. Not bad at all. It rhymes. The message is clear and the metaphors work well. And it even contains a few romantic keywords. Bravo! I think you're ready. What? But go. Hmm. Huh. I think we have to knock, try knock. them all. Hmm. You. And then. I still need you. No, you. There's a. Just give it a. A junk dealer from Porto Fit. He said she. Not bad at all. It's amusing. <laughs> the meter works perfectly, and it's even a love story in the broadest sense. Bravo! I think you're ready. Go. Oh. Okay, hear me knock, out. Knock. Hmm. You. So each of the lines he has works in a certain way, but they're all really bad because they don't have everything together. I still need you. No, there's a interesting. Here am I. There are you, Platypoo. Say that again. Uh, here am I. There are you, Platypoo. You can't be serious. That is truly atrocious. The very <laughs> worst I've ever heard. I wasn't going to admit it, but you really need my help. Will you give me lessons or something like that? Heavens, no. I know a lost cause when I see one. There is only one thing that can possibly aid you. It's the oldest trick in the poet's book. Drugs? <sighs> Ghost writing. And that's what I meant. Here, take this bug. What on earth for? Stick it in your ear. But it's still wiggling. Don't be such a sissy. Stick it in your ear. Then I can whisper the right words to you during your date. Cool. Like a secret agent. Okay, now we impress the dad? Oop. Hey, dad. <sighs> what is it? Can't you see? I know. Don't make a too. I may not be good at waxing eloquent. But I've got this. What? Earwax? A prompter. The poet will whisper the right words to me. That poor wretch who lives below me? <laughs> what could he possibly whisper to you? Must you really play the piano after midnight? Doesn't sound so romantic to me. But it doesn't matter. I found just the right poem. I'll do it my way. Oh, the kid wants to stand on his own two feet. Almost. As you like it. Why not? I am going to reserve that table. And you take this. What is it? It's the invitation for gold. According to all the rules of etiquette, when she reads this, she will most certainly show up for our date. My date, you mean? Uh, exactly. But first, let me give you a few more hints from father to son. Wow, that was pretty moving. 
He even let me borrow a suit. Maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Something's wrong here. Something's very wrong. But... We don't have time for that now. We'll pick it up next time. That was not that bad. I got lucky here and there. And that kind of really helped out. I feel bad having to like go through the lines for the um resistance in that kind of accent and that's the only way that i actually like figured that out or would have figured it out without basically trial and error but i mean it wouldn't have been that bad i think maybe Oh well. Anyways, I don't have much else to say. It's mostly... I'm enjoying this game. And... You know, despite Rufus... Being an okay person? Even though I know that sounds bad. I do want him to succeed. As... He's a nice person too. And that'd be really cool if we can actually watch that, you know? But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. We're going to pick it up next time. We're going to actually do the date. And I'm assuming we're going to have to actually deal with Seagull trying to sabotage it for himself. But we're going to see. So with that being said, Thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So good night and sweet nightmares.